Okay, so a couple months ago, a uh, Play-Doh company reached out to us to make them a stop motion video, this unboxing of their dough, and how could we create something that was fun, eye-catching, and really brought this idea of the limitless possibilities and creativity with this dough. We decided we wanted to really make something that was playful, that was youthful, and that kids would enjoy watching because it is a very um, kid focused kind of simple claymation and so we thought it would be fun to do dinosaurs because my little one loves dinosaurs as well as space um, because again my little one loves rocket ships so we thought it would be fun to kind of take these youthful themes and um, create these scenes with the dough in stop motion. So the first thing we did is we got on our computers and we created a digital version of what we wanted it to look like. Digital lava flowing volcano, some digital um, leaves and things. And then we actually used for the dinosaurs, the reason we wanted to do this dinosaur scene is because Dough Parlor offers dinosaur cookie cutters that you can buy with their dough. So we thought let's build a scene around some of the cookie cutters and things that they have available. So we cut the dinosaurs, um, with the cookie cutters and then created um, this like palms, volcano, leaves and greenery scene. Um, and we did it all digitally, same with space. We knew that they had um, rocket ship and star and moon cookie cutters so we knew we were gonna use those and then all the other elements we kind of digitally mocked up. After we digitally mocked it up we then um, used our Glowforge which is a laser cutter to laser cut out pieces of white paper and we use this as a template so that when we created the actual pieces that we're going to shoot we knew what shapes that they were going to take so we cut out all these templates and then um, we would roll out the dough we'd put the template over top and then with an exacto blade we would just follow along that template to get out a really nicely cut shape and then we put all those um, shapes on like a cookie sheet to save them for when we were ready to film, which we filmed them as soon as we were able to, like after, after we cut them, we, we filmed it as soon as possible so that the dough wouldn't dry out for hours because animating takes a long time. First thing we did, so we set up the scene. We put all the Play-Doh pieces in place. We then, the first thing we animated was the steam bubbles coming off of the volcano. And then one by one, we took Play-Doh pieces off of the set and it just looked, like things were disappearing, right? And then um, when we got to the last dinosaur piece, we um, rolled that into a ball and replaced it with a bigger ball of dough that rolls off the scene. But then when you play it forward, it looks like the dough is rolling into the scene, turning into a dinosaur, and a scene is appearing around the dinosaur. So then the next scene we jumped into was the space scene. Again, we had our paper, paper templates. We would cut around them to create our um, different planets. Some of the stuff we did freehand because I think the planets are fun to have these like wavy lines in them and just kind of fun additional elements. Um, so a lot of the um, space stuff we did freehand or we used circular cookie cutters to cut out planets and moons and then we just added freehand um, exacto cut elements over top and then we built the space scene and shot it. But this one we didn't build it um, in a way that it was going to be extractive, we filmed it in an additive way. So, you know, the dinosaur scene, we built it and we took pieces off. This one, we built it and then filmed all the um, planets and stars and things flying by. So we kind of filmed them in different ways, but for the same video. Um, and then at the end of that, the, the red ball that became the spaceship, it rolls out of the screen and um, before either of those dough things we shot the box coming into the frame the lid sliding off um, dough coming out all that good stuff also Elliot loved being a part of the stop motion when we were preparing pieces to shoot he loved rolling out the dough and getting to cut it with cookie cutters. And he wanted to do this stop motion just as much as I wanted to because it was so much fun. So we hope you enjoy the video we created for Dough Parlor. And if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask us in the comments below. Have a great rest of your day.